back to another video, Brandon Orange here, and welcome back to another Q&A video. Okay, so Q&As, it's something that's interesting, you guys send in questions, and I answer those questions. Sometimes I'll ask you guys questions, and you can answer those as well for me, I guess, if we just want to do the back and forth kind of thing. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here on YouTube, I've been missing for about a week, yesterday was the first video back. Uh, I was missing for about a week, uh, and this goes into the first question. So the first question I got is actually from YouTube. This, like, mostly is going to be a Twitter and Instagram Q&A. Next week I'll do a solely, like, a YouTube question one. Uh, but basically, the question is, Brandon, I noticed yesterday's video looked a little bit different. It looked a lot better. The camera quality was a lot better. Did you get a new camera by chance? Um, actually, yes, I did, and that's why I've been missing for a week, because I had a whole mess with, like, the shipping company, which I'm not going to name, uh, USPS, I uh, lost my camera and then I had to order a new one and it was just a whole ordeal where I couldn't make a video uh, because I actually sold my, my previous camera. Uh, for you nerds, I'll go into the actual camera details. Um, the videos are now in 4K because I get this wonderful Sony now. My previous camera was the Canon ADD. I've used Canon for a while, but you know they're just not up to par with the stuff Sony's been releasing recently, so this is my brand new camera. I'm gonna just record like a little video on my phone since I don't really have another camera to show you guys, but I'm going to show you this camera. My brand new camera is the Sony a7 III, and I have my Video Mic Pro, Rode Video Mic Pro, on top of it, the microphone, and uh, yeah, it's a wonderful deal. I just thought it was time for an upgrade. This camera is flying off the shelves, even though it's really expensive, but I was able to sell the old camera and basically just get this one for not too much more money. So, uh, yeah, Sony a7 III, the Brandon Hodge videos are now in 4K, and I'm not going to ramble on about the camera for much longer like a nerd, sorry. All right, the next question. I guess this kind of has to do with getting the camera. So, uh, the question is, Brandon, uh, when you get packages in now with the whole, you know, horrible uh, uh, pandemic going on, everyone's concerned about getting the uh, virus, are you taking any precautions when you get packages in the mail? Um... No, but I probably should. That's uh, something I really should do. Yeah, um, I mean, you're smarter than me by just asking the question. No, I just open the package. I mean, I, I basically bathe in hand sanitizer at this point, so I think everything's going to be okay. But, uh, yeah, that's something that you should do if you're smart. You should take some kind of precaution. I don't know if you just need to get your package and leave it in a spot for two weeks without touching it so all the germs die. I, I, I don't know, but there's something that you should probably do. But for me, I just bathed in hand sanitizer and hopefully that that does something all right the next question the next question um this is a twitter question i forgot to mention so the first question about the camera was from youtube uh, the question about uh the precautions was from twitter this question is also from twitter and then we'll switch to instagram so basically uh the question is brandon what is your favorite live event you have been to and do you have any tips for people to for going to you know live events for the first time uh, so my favorite live event I've been to, I mean, that's something I have to think about. Um, honestly, I have very fond memories about the Royal Rumble um, trip this past January because it was the last show I was able to go to before this pandemic started and we weren't allowed to go to shows anymore. So I have fond memories of that during thinking about that, you know, now. Uh, you know, the WrestleMania trips are always a fun time. You know, WrestleMania 33 was, was my favorite WrestleMania I've been to. I mean, that was a wonderful time, uh, but if I had to pick one, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't really have an answer for you. I guess I would go with the Rumble 20, uh, what year, 2017 trip uh, that was in Texas, just because I did like a whole, a whole thing. I went to NXT TakeOver, I went to, um, you know, the Royal Rumble, I went to the Raw After in a city two hours away, another city two hours away from that. I went to the SmackDown. I just did like a whole round trip all around Texas and then flew out. And it was just like an amazing deal. And I did like five vlogs in like five days. It was just wonderful. But if I had to choose one, it's that. But to answer the other part of your question, uh, any tips for fans going to shows and stuff? Um, I don't know. Just have a good time. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. Just, uh, I, I guess, look at the prohibited items is something I would, I would say. Because uh, cameras like this one I have... They don't allow you to bring into the arena because the lens comes off. If they see you with a the camera, they're like, does the lens come off? And they're going to they test it. And if the lens doesn't come off, you can bring it in. But the lens does come off. You got to take it back to your car, which sucks if you didn't even bring a car or whatever. It's like, oh, I have to go all the way back to the hotel because I just Ubered here. Um, so, I, I mean, that, that sucks. Just look at the prohibited items kind of thing. But other than that, just have a fun time. 
It's a WWE show, and the energy is amazing, especially the first time you go. So you're gonna have like a wonderful time. All right, the next question. I like this question. So we're switching over the Instagram side of questions. So uh, this this question is basically saying, Brandon, who do you think will have fans come back first? Do you think WWE will have fans back first, or do you think AEW will? Well, I, I think whoever's first is not going to be a benefit. It's going to be kind of a bad kind of thing for them. And I think it's going to be WWE. I, I, I don't know. I just feel like they're more of a, a hurry. Uh, Vince isn't the most patient person in the world. Uh, I mean, he wants SummerSlam to happen with the crowd, which doesn't look like there's going to be a chance in hell for that. But, you know, I think it's going to be WWE. They're a public traded company. They're not going to be the first sport in the world to resume, you know, having shows with crowds. So I, I don't think they're going to be too much backlash. But I think WWE will be AEW to the to having the fans back. Just, just maybe just by a little bit, maybe a few weeks or something. All right, the next question uh, also goes from Instagram. Brandon, uh, who do you think Edge's next opponent will be? It looks like the Orton's feud's over with Edge. Edge obviously had to have surgery, but he did say he's he's returning. He's not going to stop. So I think the next kind of storyline to kind of go to, which I'm surprised they didn't go to first off is I guess Edge and Seth Rollins. I mean there's there's some there's some there's some history there uh, where they did the spot on Raw when, when was it? I think it was a Raw, I'm I'm thinking a few years ago. Hopefully you guys remember what I'm talking about. But I feel like that would be a good feud with Seth Rollins and Edge. I think they could make some amazing content. They could do some amazing matches, great promos, great build up to the match. I just think it would be a wonderful thing and I think it's an obvious choice. So Seth Rollins and Edge would be where I would place my money for the next match. The next question, I do not like questions like this because I don't want to talk about money, but someone has asked, Brandon, what is the most expensive ticket to a show you've ever purchased? So, I mean, most of the shows I've went to have just, you know, been a Raw or SmackDown or something, which is, which is fine, because I get floor most of the time, front row, second row, third row, I get that ticket for like 90 bucks. Uh, at least I used to be able to. I think they went up a little bit now. I think it's like 125 now um, I mean it goes up every year it's just stupid but most of them have been 90 bucks but then there's the pay-per-views I've been to a lot of pay-per-views probably over 20 and most of those have been uh, over $500 per ticket which absolutely sucks to pay that much money but you know I, I, I didn't have expenses back then I was just you know I, I had money coming in and I'm like I want to give it back to the channel I want to kind of do something cool so I'm gonna sit, you know, row two for a pay-per-view. And that's what I did with that money. But there's certain shows that are more money than others. For example, uh, Survivor Series, I got the Platinum BS ticket, which was 800 bucks. That's for Survivor Series 2015. Uh, but you know, the biggest show of the year, of course, is gonna be the biggest price tag of the year. So the most expensive ticket I've ever purchased was for WrestleMania 33. I sat floor, uh, I didn't sit the front floor. If you want to sit like the front section of floor, it's like 2000 bucks face value and you're not getting close because they're going to sell out of those. Uh, I, get, I get like the second tier of floor, which was a thousand bucks. So to answer your question, for one ticket, the most money I've ever spent is a thousand bucks and that was for row 13 for WrestleMania 33. And yes, there's a vlog on the channel for those who want to see what you got for a thousand bucks. All right, next question. I like this question because I don't believe this is something I've talked about on YouTube too much. The question is, Brandon, have you ever been to shows that weren't vlogged? Like before you started doing the, the vlogs on YouTube, what wrestling shows have you been to? That is a wonderful question. I love that question. Um, now, wrestling vlogs, I've seen, I wouldn't necessarily call it a vlog, but like way back, like way, way back, whatever, uh, 2012, I would say. There was a few smaller wrestling channels who would do something called a WWE Day in the Life, which was basically, it wasn't really like a day in the, I don't know who came up with the thing, but I never really cared for that term too much. It's a vlog. Um, so I started doing the wrestling vlogs. I wasn't the first one, but I obviously popularized it a lot and kind of just made that a whole series on the channel. Uh, but anyway, my, my point is, that's where I got the idea for it. I actually, there's a vlog that never made it to YouTube. It was for WrestleMania 29. I actually did a vlog for that. It was only 13 years old. But somehow, I don't know how, I have lost all of the footage for WrestleMania 29. To this day, I am still looking for that footage. I'm losing hope because this was, what, seven years ago. So I've been looking for this footage for like seven years. It would be my first ever wrestling vlog. I did it, never made it to YouTube. Uh, so then fast forward a year later came the, you know, the, the clash, was it the clash? I can't remember. I want to say the first vlog, 
No, the first vlog was a raw in 2014. So yeah, so the first vlog was a raw in 2014. Then I did Clash of Champions 2014. So it was a year after I lost that footage. Uh, but to answer your question, instead of rambling on, uh, shows I've been to before, my first ever wrestling show, I got a late, very late start to go to wrestling shows compared to a lot of my friends, but uh, my first wrestling show was January 2nd, 2012 in Memphis, Tennessee, FedEx Form Arena, Monday Night Raw. The first Monday Night Raw of 2012 was my first show, so that one wasn't, but as for pay-per-views, uh, I went to WrestleMania 29, there's not a vlog for that unfortunately, and I also went to Over the Limit 2012. Unfortunately, there's not a vlog for that either. If I could go back in time, I would definitely do vlogs for those, but you know, most of the shows I've been to, fortunately, I've done a vlog and I can kind of look back on the video and remember my experience and the wonderful time I had and all the money I lost doing it, but I loved every second of it nonetheless. So there you guys have it. We better cut it there before this video gets too long because I know people don't like to watch very long videos. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can correct me in the comments and say you want long videos. I don't know. Everyone's different. Some people are like, I want a three minute video. Others are like, I want a five minute, 10 minute, 12 minute, 15, 20, 30 plus. I don't know. I think it's just very subjective and everyone's different. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. But thanks for watching this Q&A video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this Q&A video, make sure you give it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. That is absolutely free. Turn on the little bell, little thingy, notifications to be notified when I upload a brand new video. But thanks for watching, guys. I'm Brandon Hodge, and I will see you guys in the next video.